Hello, myself, Professor Ryan, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Vimal Jodi Engineering College, Chamberi. I welcome all of you to this course on refrigeration and air conditioning. In this lecture, we will see the topic Vortex Tube Refrigeration System. Now, before talking about this system, I would like to explain about another device called Cyclone Separator. In the Cyclone Separator, you have this is mainly used for remo removing the dirt from air. You have a, an inlet, a duct like this, and high velocity air is pumped into that duct. And it will undergo a cyclone motion like this. And as it reaches here, um, the, due to this the conical section, what happens is, uh, this is stagnation effect occurs here. That is, this high velocity air, uh, velocity suddenly drops, and the dust particles only will be and collected down here and it will move downwards and whereas the air will move in the opposite direction and that that reverse flow air you can get a very clean air so that is cyclone separate that is how a uh, from a air uh, this dust particles are removed and that is called cyclone separator now the working of this vortex tube refrigerator also is similar to the cycle cyc cyclone separator now vortex tube effect is actually this main physical phenomenon of vortex tube uh, is the temperature separation between cold vortex and core and warm vortex periphery. The vortex tube effect is fully explained by using Euler's turbine equation. Now this is a vortex tube gen uh, generator. Mainly you have uh, a compressed air coming like this which is already compressed by using some external compressor. Now that compressed air enters here. This portion is the vortex generator. This portion generates a vortex flow. This compressed air undergoes when it passes through this vortex generator. It will undergo a vortex flow, and it that is it will move in a cyclone motion like this. Right? You can see that by using red color. Okay. So this is this this outer periphery. Uh, you have two cyclone motions. One is in the outer, outer periphery and another one is a blue color that is in the reverse direction. So this red color thing that is out, outer uh, cyclone that is um, heated because of the friction. So as it reaches here the temperature will be high and when it reaches here it will undergo a stagnation condition. You have a control valve here that will block the flow. So what happens is here a stagnation stage occurs. So a part of that a, a high velocity air will move in the reverse direction uh, will be blocked okay then uh, and and re uh, uh, major part of that hot air will escape through this portion you have a control wall this can move to and fro so uh, based on the operation condition based on the temperature which we need now a part of the air uh, will undergo a reverse motion in this direction and due to that stagnation the temperature is reducing so as it reaches here uh, you have a expander here and the air which is coming out will be very chill. Now you have operation, once more I will explain. The compressed air enters the chamber and the stationary generator generates vortex at approximately 1 million RPM. Outer vortex gains energy due to friction and this hot outer vortex is exhausted or vented through an adjustable valve. Ramming air flow backs the backs to the generator in the opposite direction of the outer vortex. Due to the reverse vortex flow, the energy level of the molecule reduces so it gets cooled. This cooled air expanded through a nozzle and the air becomes super cold. Now water, water, vortex tube can generate refrigeration effect up to 1.8 kilowatts by using an air which is compressed to 7 bar. Now again once more I will explain. You have compressed air coming like this this is the water generator vortex generator will generate a vortex flow and due to the friction it um, uh, its temperature increases and here you have a control valve as it reaches here a ramming occurs or a or stagnation occurs ramming occurs and due to that what happens is a part of that uh, hot air will flow in the reverse direction in another inner vortex like this blue color so whereas major part of that is escaping through this portion this reverse vortex uh, will be cooled as it you know uh, as because of the uh, lo loss of energy and as it reaches here it expands through this uh, valve so here you will get very chilled air 
you may get here the temperature of the hot gas may be around 250 degrees celsius whereas here the temperature may be uh, minus 50 degrees celsius up to that lower temperature we can get now uh, it has got some advantages and disadvantages like no leakage problem as air is used as the refrigerant initial cost is low less space is required simple in design light in weight no moving parts simple maintenance and skilled labors uh, no skilled labors are required okay now whereas uh, some disadvantages are there like uh, limited capacity uh, then um, low coefficient of performance and small portion of the air is appearing as chilled and major portion of the air is heated some applications like uh, vortex tubes are used for cooling of cutting tools that is in lathes and mills both manually operated or cnc machines during machining vortex tube is well matched to this application now uh, this machine tools or generate uh, machine shops already uses compressed air and for its operation so this air this compressed air can be used for this for this uh, vortex generator also and this compressed uh, cooling air can remove uh, it, it can act as the uh, coolant as well as uh, it can remove chips so uh, these are some uh, applications of this vortex tube gen uh, vortex tube refrigerator um, so hope you got some basic idea uh, and uh, working principle of this uh, vortex tube generator thank you very much for listening to this